Alright guys, welcome back to the second episode of this playthrough. So, I'm just going to let you guys know that um, uh, for the time, or for this week at least, until I kind of kind of get on with it with the time and everything, uh, the most likely will be primarily a lot of Mass Effect episodes. So basically, as I'm playing through this, I'm recording this, I'm doing some commentary on it, but I don't know if I'm going to actually uh, do the whole game as a playthrough with commentary. Uh, if you guys want it, of course, I'm more than happy to comply. I do have the game. I am going to be playing it. Uh, the main focus, of course, will be on trying to play the game, get the cinematics, record them, turn them into like a little story, like a little um, movie type of thing, and then put that out. Now, of course, I did say that in a previous video. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because, personally speaking, when I'm bored, when I'm chilling, when I'm having my downtime, I like to watch a good story. Now, most often, because I am a gamer, I will go to a, a game-related story. Now, Mass Effect is a game that is quite dear to me. I really, really like it. It's one of the games that has a story that has stuck with me. It's got so much to offer. Uh, of course, it does have multiple endings, so I'll probably try and cover that, but that is in Mass Effect 3. And, um, of course, what I like about the game is the fact that uh, whatever decisions I make in this first game will affect my story in the second game. So I'm going to try and make the correct decisions, uh, try and not get my squad killed, try and romance the right person. Yes, there is romance in this game. So we now have to go. I think she's called Ashley. I mean, we only see her in the first Mass Effect, and I didn't tend to use her in my first playthrough. I do like the Krogan more, so I like Rex, and I also, of course, um, like... Uh, the Turian. Oh, hold on a bit. Okay, there we go. Oh, just two bad guys. Oh, that was it. Let's go and talk to you then. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Okay, so, let's, uh, let's find out what happened, eh? Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. Okay, so I am going to be playing around with the dialogue options, and that is because, I mean, personally speaking, I know the story. Um, however, I'm also keeping into consideration or taking into consideration the fact that some people that are probably watching this and never played Mass Effect may not know what the story is about. So obviously, I'm trying to fill you guys in with as many... Um, well, with as much information as possible. So this is one of our first crewmen. Uh, that will be joining us throughout this first game and I am looking at the visuals Oh my god, it looks so pretty compared to the first one as I said the first one did not edge too well in terms of the graphics and visuals but this update Looks so pretty Take all of course. We're gonna loot everything because hey why not you know you never know when something will come in handy and one thing I don't remember is how um how we make money in this game. I know that throughout all three games there's like shops and stuff when you get to the Citadel, but I can't remember how you make money on this. Uh, say that, I don't really remember if there's anything really good to get from the shops. There tends to be. So, I'm going to focus heavily on Charm because we're going down with Paragon, so it goes hand in hand with Paragon. Um, assault Rifles. I want to get the Sniper Rifle uh, skill up because I'm going to be probably switching between a pistol, assault rifle, and sniper rifle. Anything else I don't really tend to use all that much, which is why um, I did go with the soldier build. Uh, the other abilities, so to speak, were not really something that I was interested in. I didn't think that it would benefit my playstyle, so I'm going to go more for the shooter aspect, if that makes sense. More the soldier, more yeah, more the gun-based aspect. Of course, you can have abilities here uh, that basically allows you to lift 
enemies and throw them about now um right here we've got our inventory so we want to play around with this because we will be getting better gear and stuff uh so this is just me trying to remember how things work here but in future videos and stuff and of course in the final um movie of this which i'm gonna put together this won't show up so at the moment i just want to share with you guys and show you like what the menus look like and stuff like that so of course as you can see we can tell we can control and tell our squad where to base themselves now i know and i remember from my past playthrough that there's bad guys over here and uh on, on that topic i really 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 like the geth as well geth are pretty freaking cool in terms of npcs um, they have a very interesting story, and I cannot wait for you guys to actually see what happens with the Geth. I, I mean, it's kind of a sad story, to be fairly honest, although they are machines and they don't really feel anything. But there is a very nice story behind the Geth. Okay, there's a guy there, so I'm going to move one of my squad members there. I don't really know who I'm moving where, but can I get his freaking leg? No, I cannot. I think I did. Right. Well, you be the cannon fodder, and I sneak up like so, and then... Okay, he's dead. <laughs> Alright, so these are people that are impaled. We can interact with that, and that should give us a cutscene, but I want to see what I can loot first. Well, let's go for this. Okay, cutscene time. Go on. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Okay. Now, obviously, I did say I do know the story, uh, roughly. I can kind of remember. But it's such a nice story that sometimes through the cutscenes, I may just end up shitting up and uh, listening to it. Because I want to remind myself of the story or remind myself of why i like this game so much and the voice acting is spot on all right what's going on here i agree it is a good place for an ambush and that's why i'm ordering you to go there but then we have a cutscene so and so this is what happens with the humans that basically get captured by the geth and the reapers they get turned into husks i believe these guys are called husks and they're freaking annoying. Not so annoying in the first one, but they get a lot more annoying in the second and third one. Like, in the third one, it's... I mean, you get waves of these guys coming at you. Oh, there's a one right there. Oh, I missed every single shot. <laughs> Come on. Here, husky, husky. Down you go. No, 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 you're getting too close. Back off, buddy. Down you go. You're starting to scare me there for a second. <laughs> okay. I think that's it. All right. Um, now, okay, I can crouch. <laughs> I know there's loots and stuff around here, and I know that there's a door that we can open. And uh, there's also like hacking involved in this, so I can't remember what it looks like when it comes to the hacking side, especially for the first one. I seem to remember the second one a lot better. Uh, it's like a mini game, if you want to call it that. But I'm kind of worried about messing up my hacking because I do want to loot everything. Um, I'm being greedy here, I know, but yeah. So here's uh, to hoping that we can get this done. All right, okay, dokie. I'm just reading these just to make sure that I understand what I'm doing. So begin manual override. Oh, okay, I see how this works. There we go. Done, 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 done. I wonder if these get complicated uh, or become more complicated in the future. Thank the maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. <laughs> Sorry, I like this character. Um, I mean, we don't uh, see much of him, but I remember this cutscene, and um, he's he's kind of dopey. Or comes across as dopey, but he's also cool in the sense of uh, he's actually writing what he says. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. Manuel, that's his name. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. 
The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What else can you tell me about <laughs> okay. the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside, gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice okay. the in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has to be fairly honest, Manuel is kind of right. I mean, he, he's a bit loopy in the head, but he's actually quite right. This is where all will lead. Oh, this is where, oh, okay. my, my English, Jesus. Yeah, this is where the story will go. It's going to get pretty dark, and uh, I like it. If that's what sanity looks like, I'd like to pass on that opportunity. Thank you very, very much. And we're not going to offer to shut him up, but I think that's kind of bad, so... You know, we're playing a good guy here. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Jesus Christ, what'd you give him? What medication? Okay, right. Is there anything I can loot from here? Nope. Alright, fair enough. I'm always going to be checking for loot. That's another thing that um, I'm going to warn you guys about. Now, of course, there will be sections that I will be cutting out. But this is... Uh, pretty linear in terms of what we can do in this first section later on it just gets a bit more complicated um, I mean don't get me wrong it's not an open world as such type of game although it has elements of it oh here we go another cutscene I really like the way Nihilus looks and this is Saren who looks even cooler he looks a bit robotic this isn't your mission Saren what are you doing here the council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. By the way, notice his left arm. He, he, it almost looks... Um, it looks dodgy. It doesn't... It looks like he's not right. He's got what stuff coming out of it. Oh, hello. Alright, so this is where the shoot... Oh, hey. Oh, oh hey. Oh, pretty. Oh man, that is pretty. So that is a Reaper. Okay. Um, right now, I feel... I can't quite remember what goes on here, but I feel like we're going to get attacked. So, I'm going to try and snipe some bad guys. Right, that guy's going to come to life. There's a Geth right there, so let's go for a headshot. Bam! Down he goes. I don't oh, okay. Spike's gone down, so we're gonna get some husks coming this way. I'm gonna try and snipe them if I can. That would be brilliant. Uh, whereabouts are you? Oh, they're shooting that stuff. Oh, there's a guy right there. Where are you? Come here. Oh man. Oh man, the aim on this is awful. So we're gonna have to do short bursts. Oops, something's hitting me. Go away. No, no. Bad husky. Down you go. I am trying to go for the headshots. If that counts for anything, I don't know. But I don't want to get hit too many times by these guys. I don't really want to use to. Oh, hey, Gethy. Whoopsies. Did not know you were there. Let's go and snipe you out. Stick your head out for me. Just like that. Good Geth. So, yeah. 
I did warn you I'm going to focus heavily on sniper rifles. This is easily my favorite weapon. Uh, really effective at long distances. And uh, there is... Uh, actually, there's a couple of sniper rifles, as you would imagine. There's uh, one that has like a multiple shot. Uh, one that does even less damage. And one that's basically a one-shot, one-kill type of thing. And that is my favorite sniper rifle. Let's do this manual override. Um, ooh, hey. There we go. Everybody stay Got it on the first go. There. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were That's a lie, Shepard. They They're not before. gone. They're all over the freaking place. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Okay, so we're gonna do some investigation right here. Uh, I do know this guy has a secret. And I think I remember that he gives us some sort of loot. Now, I don't remember what he gives us. Uh, and I don't really remember how to get that dialogue, which is the other problem. Um, but I do know him, uh, whatever this farmer called. Yeah. You know anything about the beacon they dug up? See what his name is right now. Cole, there we go. Uh, so I do know that Cole does have some sort of something to give us. So I'll try and get it off him if I can. Just what don't know how to do it. Me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only it was coming from inside your own head. So that must mean you screwed up in head then. <laughs> Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. Okay. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. Sorry about repeating the dialogue options. I'm just trying to figure out how to get whatever he has to give us, and uh, I'm going off of um what I remember. Come on, come on! I don't really want to hear this all over again, please. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. Okay. There's nothing really... I can't... Okay. Right, well, we're going to have to go now, I guess. We've done all of these. Right. Okay. Goodbye, sir. I'm really, really confused. I don't know how to get it. I don't want to leave anything behind. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned, only it was coming from inside your own head. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? Whoopsies. I was too busy running to get <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh boy. Sorry, I didn't mean to put this uh, same thing three times on, but I thought or hoped that uh, there'd be a different dialogue option or something. Um, I guess not. Okay. Oh, I feel like this we've already heard. Okay. We're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake. Oh, that's what I had to do. Jeez. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair you enough. something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You're breaking the law. Okay, that's what I was after. <laughs> we're not hurting anybody. Hell, most of the time I don't even know what's in the packages. Just thought there might be something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Who's your contact? Okay, he gave us something. I don't know what he's given us. Okay, so let's find out his contact because this also leads into another thing we can get. He might have something to do with this whole attack. And that blue dialogue option that you just saw there, that is because of the Paragon yeah, option. So okay. that's why we want to raise our Paragon as high as humanly possible because that will unlock alternative, um, and, like, secret dialogue options, which, of course, can give us better outcomes. That's the aim of the game. We'll take all. We're going to go and snoop around in here, see if we can find anything. 
of use. Okay, of course we do. Yeah, we can interact with this. Nope, maybe not. I don't know what I need to be able to interact with this. Maybe I'm not the right um, class. Oh, we got some points right here. So, I am. What am I going to go for? This is a bit of a difficult choice right here. I can't advance my charm skill, and uh, combat armor sounds like a good idea, so does assault rifles. I really want to unlock the sniper rifle skill though, that right there, that's what I want. Anyways, I'm going to be playing around with this for the time being. Uh, with that being said and done, my time says we have come up to 20 minutes of this video. So I'm going to end it here. And of course, I do hope that you guys have enjoyed it and that you will come and see the next couple of videos. Um, I am going to make several videos for this game until I have enough footage to make a whole movie for it. And with that being said, if you have enjoyed it, please don't forget to show it by hitting that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already ready for more similar content and why not leave a comment down below with your thoughts about this game have you played it do you want to play it would you give it a go is this something that you would like personally i freaking love mass effect and i'm so happy that i can play this game once again and i think it looks freaking amazing in terms of visuals until next time stay safe folks